All right, let's go ahead and get started, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Um, my name is Matt Sabala. I am an annuity sales director here at IMES, and I'm excited about our webinar today. Uh, we've done a couple of these on our Federal Bridge Training Program, and Dave Baker is here joining us to talk about the phenomenal opportunity here in the federal space. How are you, Dave? I'm doing great. How about you guys? Hope everybody's doing well. I'm doing well. Sorry to make you mess with your audio there. Um, we'll get to Dave here in just a second because he's the meat of why you guys came and want to make sure you have an opportunity to hear from him. I'm going to go over quickly and try and keep my portion of this short, our value proposition, why people decide to work with us here at IMES and um, why um, producers like yourselves have found a lot of value in some of the different programs that we offer. So again, my name is Matt Sabala. I'm an annuity sales director here at IMES. I've been here for almost a year now. Time has gone by pretty quickly. I've got a lot of experience in the industry. Um, so when I say, when I reference different areas um, that I think we really shine, that's coming from a standpoint of, of having to see having seen what the biggest industry um, or the biggest group in the industry has to offer, because I worked there for quite some time and some other groups have to offer, um, I'm really looking at it from the standpoint of having a lot of experience and seeing what other groups can do for producers like yourselves. Um, IMS is big on service. A lot of places will tell you that, almost every place will tell you that, um, but that has been the focal standpoint at IMS since Charles Hiring founded IMS now 37 years ago. Um, actually, a little bit more than that. It's almost 38 years ago now. And um, one of the things we do is we've got, uh, whenever you call into IMS, we've got a live person always answering the phone. We don't even have voicemail here. Um, we're always gonna get you in touch with somebody to handle your situation right then and there. And I'm gonna review some of the other things that we do for our producers here. Oh, uh, let's see. Sorry about this. I'm using a different, <laughs> I'm using the web-based version of Office now, and it, it's a little different. Sorry about that. One of the first things that our producers really like to leverage when they join here is us here at IMES is during your first six months contracted with us, we do this new producer builders program. Uh, I call it our new producer bonus program. Um, and during your first six months contracted with us, you can hit all these different thresholds that allow us to really invest in your practice and keep your sales funnel full when you first get started with us. Uh, we continue to do that after your first six months, but this is a way to fast track that process. Um, personally, I had several people um, I told you I've been here about a year. I had several people that I started working with um, my time here with, I, with IMES hit the million dollar level last year. Um, and two out of the three that hit that level um, decided to continue to do workshops. Um, so we put on three workshops for them and that's keeping their sales funnel full at the start of 2024. Um, another one of them is leveraging a program where we kind of refinance uh, people's annuity forms, so it's having replacement conversations with people in in a an older um, policy that was purchased in a less advantageous rate environment. Um, but regardless, we're very flexible with this, and the idea is producers that produce, we want to ensure that we're helping you keep your sales funnel full. Um, annuity business, FIAs count dollar for dollar. Life sales count about 10 to 1 in this program. Just like you guys, whenever we bring somebody on board, a new client to us, that would be a new producer, obviously, uh, the best way to get them is typically through a referral. So when we um, have somebody who feels like we're doing well by them and they want to refer somebody to us, we want to pay them for doing that also. Uh, we'll give you a $50 bonus when they get contracted, but the real money starts coming in when that person that you refer starts writing business. Um, an indexed annuity, for example, if they write a, an indexed annuity for $100,000, we're gonna pay you 200,000. And that's not just a one-time, or not 200,000, that'd be fantastic. We'll pay you $200 on a $100,000 annuity. That's not a one-time thing that continues indefinitely while you're both contracted with us. So we definitely see the value in 
referrals. And uh, we encourage anybody who doesn't want to go the agency route, which by the way, uh, we do a lot to help people in that um, in that arena as well. But if you don't want to take on the liability of an agency and all the responsibility that's involved in that, um, we'd love to help you um, just by paying you on the business people you send to us, right? I think we do three things exceptionally well here at IMES. Um, the first is back office support. Uh, we have a devoted team of people on the life and the sales team, or on the life and the annuity sales team, who understand the ins and outs of each of the carriers that we work with and help your business go from submission to commission as seamlessly as possible. So on the annuity side, we've got people who understand you know, all the different carriers, seeing all ants, whoever it is, um, and work tirelessly with those carriers to take that off your plate whenever possible to get that business paid. Uh, we have Michelle and her team on the life side. We have Mackenzie and her team on the annuity side. Um, there's a lot more that goes into this, but we do this extremely, extremely well, and we have a great group of people um, who are devoted to helping you get that business through. Um, we're missing a slide here in this presentation, so I'm gonna talk about it here real quick. Um, our website is an important piece of, of what we do. Um, imsinc.com, if you go to imsinc.com, you're gonna get the dog food. But imsinc.com will take you to our website, which is full of useful tools, like our sales resource library, has lots of different things that you can download and we can brand to your practice. It's no cost to our producers. Um, a lot of really useful comparison tools like Annuity Rate Watch, um, which is a fantastic tool um, to run comparisons and get information on products you may write. Uh, it also has information and access to e-submittal tools, like I'm gonna talk about here in just a second. Um, Firelight, um, iGo eApp, and a number of different resources there really help expedite the process of writing business and cut down on the mistakes that can be made and also allow us to more expeditiously um, review that business to ensure that it's gonna get through that uh, submission process as quickly as possible. Um, if you're not using those e-submittal tools, you're really doing yourself and your clients a disservice. Um, it is not harder to do that. I've heard people say, you know, uh, it's complicated. I don't want to learn a new process and neither do my clients. Well, the good thing is your clients don't have to. It's just DocuSign that we use um, as part of that process. And as far as you learning it, um, one time doing it will speed up the process dramatically for you going forward. Um, so we'll help you walk you through that if you need help. Uh, please contact your annuity or life sales rep and we'll get you through there. You can access those tools uh, just a click away on our website. Um, back in 2016, 2018, um, I'm sure a lot of you were in the industry at that time and were um, concerned about the changes the Department of Labor was making then. Um, you may have to get your securities license. A lot of people are concerned about that and some other fiduciary changes. Um, that may have been coming into play at that time. Fortunately, for most of our advisors, um, we did not have to get our securities license. Um, all of that is on the horizon again. Um, and uh, IMS Wealth Management is there to ensure that we assist you through that process. Boy, this is just all screwed up, guys. I'm sorry, this web-based version of our uh, presentation is not what I'm used to. IMS Wealth Management is there to assist you through that process um, and ensure that you stay in compliance and your clients have access to a fiduciary whenever they need one. So if, you're, if you've got a client who is concerned about um, their overall assets and wants to leave part of that money in a, in a growth bucket, our IMS Wealth Management team can actually go with you on a call, ensure you're keeping that client close so they're not having to meet with another advisor. Um, it's also a great way to go and go ahead and get your license um, if you'd like to. And we find that people that do have a 65 or um, other securities license tend to close a lot more business, especially the larger cases. Um, those are easier for them to close because they have that credibility and they have those additional resources to them. If you would like more information on IMS Wealth Management, please let us know. I will make sure we get that information to you. Um, but that is a fantastic resource um, to our advisors, and we will make sure that just like in 2016, 2018, 
um, we're keeping you guys informed about the changes happening with the DOL. And we're one of four IMOs that are actively involved in the legis legislation for the changes the department is making to our industry. Um, so we do have a fact sheet and, and some other information um, right now, and we're putting together a new, we have an older one, but we're putting together a new compliance portfolio um, to ensure that you don't run into an issue with the changes that'll be coming down the pike this year. The second thing that I think we do really well, and I'm running a little behind because of my mix up here, sorry, is creative marketing solutions. Um, for any producer, um, no matter where you're at in your practice, um, we can meet you where you're at. We do everything from business cards, uh, to stationery, to websites, to getting you on the radio, Fox News, whatever. We're going to do it all for you. Um, and we do it very, very well. We have a team of professionals. We just had our new one on our creative marketing staff um, that will sit down with you, uh, find out what you need from a credibility standpoint and from a branding standpoint to be visible in the way you need to be visible. And in today's environment, that's very, very important. Um, but also, um, from a marketing perspective, um, your annuity or life sales director like me uh, would sit down with you and discuss what your goals are in 2024 and beyond um, back in to a marketing program that we can bite off piece by piece to help you reach those goals and exceed them going forward. If you'd like for us to do that, please let us know. We will ensure to sit down with you and provide that custom marketing analysis for you. Okay, I'm almost done. The third thing I think we do really, really well is training. Uh, we have coming up here in just a couple of weeks, um, our first training academy of the year in Des Moines, Iowa this time. And we do them throughout the country where we will review um, top sales concepts, best practices for life and annuities. This is not for an entry level agent. These are life and annuity concepts like master's level courses um, that really are going to ensure you bring some good things back to your practice to implement to have stronger sales going forward. Um, I've been out to every one of these that we've done since I came to IMS. They are the tip of the spear in the industry. Nobody does this better. If you'd like to join us, please let us know. Um, you can email me mattss at imesinc.com or just give me a call. And um, we will ensure that we do what we can to get you qualified for our next event, which will likely be in June or towards the beginning of July. Probably not the first week of July, but the week before or the week after is what we're targeting right now. And uh, we would love to see you at our next Life and Annuity Academy. Uh, we do things like this incentive trip. Um, we just wrapped this one up here um, a couple of weeks ago. Um, our top advisors, almost 100 of them, got to go out to the Seaside Sanctuary. It was a great time with our advisors. And we're doing another one um, that will be taking place later on this year that we just started qualification for. And actually, any um, credits that qualify you towards that um, incentive trip are doubled for the month of May. So fantastic news there. Finally, it wouldn't be a presentation if I didn't ask you to like and follow us on Facebook and LinkedIn. I've heard producers say, I don't care about social media, it doesn't do anything for me. Well, that might be true for you as an individual, but it's not for your clients. Um, if even one client um, can't engage with you, if even one client doesn't see your presence on social media that otherwise would have, and have you top of mind when they need the services of a financial professional, then you've missed the boat. Um, ensure that you have that available in your practice. We can help you do that. That's part of our creative marketing solutions. Um, and if you'd like, uh, please follow us on Facebook and LinkedIn. We're posting some good information on a regular basis about like the Department of Labor right now. Um, and uh, we'd love for you to have that same capability with your clients. So with that, I'm gonna hand it over to Dave. Dave, I'm gonna let you probably not screw this up as badly as I did. Take it away, sir. Thanks for joining can't, us. Can't promise that. So the first challenge is going to be, there we go, show my screen. And let me know, Matt, if you guys can see my screen real quick. Looks good. All right. Well, um, thanks everybody for joining us. Looks like we've got, oh, about 40 minutes to uh, 
talk to you guys about the federal market niche. So with that said, let's just jump right into it. The, the main event here today is to learn how to make six figures work in the federal market. And um, first of all, I just want to start off that this is going to be for you if you have just three things. If you want to make money while helping people, uh, you want to make it consistent. Now, I'm not talking about up and down, up and down. I'm talking about consistent six-figure income working the financial services and your financial advisor looking for a profitable and sustainable niche. Now, two things here that I want, you know, really just kind of hammer home, consistent and sustainable. You know, there are a lot of things that we do as financial advisors or agents uh, to try to drive income into our practices. And for a lot of advisors or agents, that, that business goes up and down and we're always waiting for the next event to get caught up. What if we had something that was just consistent and sustainable? All you have to do, in my words, are follow the recipe. If all you had to do is follow the recipe, you know that you're going to make your money, you know you're going to be helping people, everything's going to be good. That's what this is, uh, program is designed to do. So let's start off with a story of two financial advisors, Bob and Harry. And uh, both of them are financial advisors, both of them working in the Virginia area and they both started their careers at the same time. Let's start off with Bob. Now, Bob says that he works with retirees, and he wants to help people have the retirement of the dreams, just can't find prospects. So he's always stressed out. Can't find, uh, can't get in front of people, and when he does, he can't get them to take action. And, you know, all this stress got him thinking, well, maybe I should start looking at some other stuff. Should I start working the teacher market? Maybe do Medicare SUP or mortgage protection or final expense. So as a result, Bob is really struggling to make six figures. Now, you know, six figures can, can be a lot of things to a lot of people, but it's always kind of at least 100,000, right? I mean, we should be making at least 100,000. Now, the sad news is, is that the average life insurance agent in America makes about 50, okay? So if you're an average insurance agent and you're making 50, you should really be paying attention because this is a no-brainer to help you make 100,000, at least, all right? So six figures means a lot of things. And if you follow the recipe and do this right, you can make a lot more than just 100,000 without having to be stressed out or jump through hoops, just follow what's been laid out for you. Which brings us to Harry. Harry works with federal employees who are concerned about their retirement. He meets with people who have actually been put on his calendar and they wanna hear what he has to say. His clients will take action because he provides a consultation, not just a sales pitch. And the consultation focuses on the personal issues that each of these federal employees have. Not just, you know, hey, how much is in your TSP, but what do you need help with? How can I help you? And then gives them a personal consultation that provides clarity to their situation and what their solutions are. So as a result, Harry's income has soared and he's making well into the six figures and he spends more time with his family. Now. This, I don't know, before I came into this program years ago, I was working nights and weekends. I don't do any of that. So I fall more into the example of Harry. So my question to you would be, which one would you prefer to be? Bob, who's stressed out all the time, or Harry? Seems like a no-brainer, but I gotta ask. The difference is, is that Harry works in the federal market. And it's a true niche. And there are a lot of people that say they work the federal market, but they don't really work it completely. They're just looking for rollovers. I don't call that work in the federal market. That's just that's just another sales pitch. So how does this work? And how well does it work for you? Well, a friend of mine that's been doing this for a number of years, his name's Pat Casey. He says, all you have to do is Follow the presentation exactly. Do a great consultation, provide solutions, and here's the best part, people sell themselves on taking action. 
Now, in our program, we don't teach or teach sales pitches or you know how to do uh, you know special closing techniques or, or you know twisting around in pretzels and use this secret ninja close. We don't do any of that. People actually decide to take action on their own, and it's just by doing a great consultation. So if you do it the way that's supposed to do or be done, you don't have to worry about that. People will sell themselves. So you're probably wondering, well, who is this guy? So let me tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I've been, you know, working in financial industry since, geez, the early 90s. Um, spent a long time uh, working in, you know, as a, you know, retirement advisor. Uh, going back into the 90s, I actually used to do retirement seminars a couple of months. And uh, I had to get out of the business in 2002. Um, right around the time of the Twin Tower attacks. And it, it wasn't because of that, but at that time, my wife became pregnant and we had uh, two, well, of course, they're twins. We, we had premature twins and they came three months early. When the doctor told my wife, hey, you know, there's no, uh, you know, very little development here. And uh, so that you, your kids really need to stay home. Otherwise they'll be at risk. So we had my wife had to quit her job, stay home for two years, and as a result, I lost my health insurance. Okay, and the family did. So I had to go get a job, a job that provided, you know, health insurance and, and things like that. So I had to go out and learn a whole new program. Um, bottom line is, ten years later, I got back into the financial industry, and uh, you know, I, I listened to a lot of different people, and they were all telling me, well, do seminars. Well, I mean, that made sense to me because that's all I had done before. And it worked really, really well. I mean, I was making good money. So went back into doing seminars and things had changed. I've been out of the business for 10 years. Things had changed when I came back in. And uh, what I found was that it was getting harder and harder to do what I was doing before. So I was looking and searching for something different. Uh, you know, working in, I'm in Southeast Michigan. Well, not today, I'm not, but you know, my practice was developed in Southeast Michigan. We were, used to work a lot with uh, auto industry, a lot of engineers. And so it was very easy for us to uh, reach out to the HR departments, find out about, you know, pension plans and things like that. And if I would ask somebody, you know, who do I get in touch with to, to learn about your pension? Well, they, they knew exactly who I should talk to. When I started working with federal employees, I would ask these same questions. And I found out very quickly that, um, federal employees have no idea what their retirement benefits are. They don't know who they're supposed to talk to. Uh, they're told to talk to OPM, which is the Office of Personal Management, but they can't tell them anything. There is no HR department. Well, each agency has one, but no, there's nobody there to tell them what their retirement benefits are and how they work. There just aren't. And it blew my mind away, but I had to learn this stuff on my own. So through uh, a number of years, trial and error, what I was able to do is put together something that was duplicatable. And uh, what I've been doing is you know, taking this recipe that has worked and uh, sharing it with other advisors across the country. So, oh, real quick picture. Here are my two twins, uh, my kids. You know, there's Jacob and Brooke. These are the ones that uh, came three months early. And as you can tell, they turned out great. Uh, this picture was just taken last spring. All right, so a little bit more about me. Started, I started back in 1993 and uh, started for a company that was used to be called IDS Financial Services. These days, it's better known as Ameriprise. Now, I'm a securities guy, so I think a little bit differently than probably a lot of people that do these types of programs. I'm a securities guy that loves insurance products. So most securities people are not big on insurance. They think Securities will solve every issue. Well, they won't. So I'm a little bit of a unicorn there. Um, when I was in the securities side working for a broker dealer, I did have the seven and the 63, and I was also 24, which allowed me to, you know, be be like a district manager type person. So notice how I said used to. I no longer work in the broker dealer world. Um, had the life insurance license way back then. Never got rid of it. We always used to, on the security side, we used to call it the business killing department because you can put together a great plan, but the underwriter always seemed to kill the deal for us. So I was never a big fan of life insurance. And I've actually been selling 
the fixed index annuities since the mid 90s. So yes, I was an early adopter and working in the securities industry, what I found was that by positioning fixed index annuities instead of bonds or bond portfolios, it made more sense to my clients and it provided better results. So huge fan of fixed index annuities, even being a securities guy. So these days, I no longer work in the broker dealer world. I do have a Series 65 and I do run my own RIA firm. So as Matt was saying before, it does lend extra credibility and we do close bigger cases. But I want you guys to know that in working the federal market, that is not a requirement. It's just a nice add-on if you do have it. So if you're insurance only, this is not gonna limit you at all, okay? I also, in addition to the RAA firm, I do run an insurance agency. We've got 25 agents, we're all across the country, and we specialize in federal employee retirement benefits. Um, important for you guys to know, I've been doing this type of training for a number of years. I've, got, I've trained hundreds of agents that are in the field already doing this presentation, so this is not my first rodeo. Um, in addition to all that, I do have three books. I'm not gonna go through these in detail, uh, but just wanted to let you guys know that, you know, in addition to all the other stuff, hey, I've written a few books. As a matter of fact, uh, this, this week today, I just finished a fourth book. So uh, not too many people have as much credibility and bring it to the table to, to spread and share with people like you. So five reasons why this is, in my opinion, the greatest opportunity for financial advisors and agents. Number one, there are hundreds of thousands of federal employees that have no idea what their retirement benefits are. Now, it's important to know that the government has mandated that the federal employees are provided with training. And there's the code right there, 5 U.S. Code 8350. This is a, a government mandate. It's put in code by Congress that all federal employees should have the training at the beginning, midpoint, and end of their careers. Yet there are no programs in place to make this happen. Each year, there are about 100,000 federal employees that retire. Each year, there are about 100,000 federal employees that are hired. So this big pool never depletes. It's a great reason why it's such a fantastic niche. You know, it, it, it's not gonna go away anytime soon which gives a great opportunity to financial advisors who understand how to do this. It gives us a, a huge opportunity. We have a lot of federal employees that know that they're supposed to get this type of uh, information provided to them. There's no programs in place. They're struggling, they're starving for information. And so for people that are trained, like hopefully you in this type of a field, you're gonna be able to have lots of people to talk to and have a lot less stress in developing your practice. So number two, there is mass confusion by the federal employees. There, there are programs or there's webinars that they can go to if they go to opm.gov. Um, there's a lot of he said, she said, or water cooler talk. Um, there are a lot of seminars that they can go to, but they're all very, very general. So as a result, the individual federal employees are super confused. Um, are they a SERS employee or are they a FERS employee? Is it, you know, when exactly can they retire? How does their TSP work? You know, and, and by the way, how much money do I get as an individual for myself? You know, they've heard a lot of generic and general information, but they don't have enough personal information. So they're really looking for somebody that they can connect with and get the information that they and their family needs so that they can retire. So number three, again, we've already talked about the water cooler talk and the fact that they're so confused. Now, now remember the government agencies are required by law to provide this type of information. They just simply don't. We've reached out to the HR departments. We've volunteered to help. Matter of fact, uh, my company, we have a cage code, which means we're a, um, an approved provider for uh, federal agencies to, to work with, okay? I mean, we're on their approved list. 
but yet they won't take a, advantage of us to teach their employees on how, to, how their stuff works. So it's very frustrating. But the opportunity is, is that because there is so much frustrating that people, when they see that they can actually meet with somebody one-on-one -on -one and learn more about their situation and how they can get to retirement successfully, they're going to jump on it. So number four, they know they, they need accurate information because if they talk to their supervisor or their manager or whoever, they're told to talk to OPM. Oh, talk to OPM, talk to OPM. Don't talk to anybody else, just talk to OPM. And again, OPM is Office of Personnel Management. So everybody calls OPM. It takes half an hour to 40 minutes to get through to somebody at OPM. And when they finally do pick up the phone, they can't give them any specifics. They can tell them what forms to use, what website to go to, but these people aren't licensed. They can't give them any specific financial information. So think about this. They know that they need to get the information. They know that there's programs. They, they're told to call OPM. They call OPM. It takes forever to be on hold. And then when they do finally get through, they get fed useless information. Talk about frustrating. So it's not unusual that by the time we get to speak to these people, a, they're suspicious because they've been told, don't talk to anybody, don't talk to anybody, but B, they're super frustrated. And it's the frustration that wins out because they've had enough. You know, they want to learn <laughs> what they can do for themselves because they all, everybody wants to retire and they want to retire successfully. Now, they're scared to go outside of somebody from the government because, you know, they know that what they have is different. They've been told not to talk to anybody outside because there are unscrupulous financial advisors that have taken advantage of people in the past and they've done bad things. So you need to dazzle them with your expertise and do something other than ask, hey, what's your balance of your TSP? Because they'll run away very fast from that. But they're looking for somebody that can give, you, can give them very specific advice and they'll test you. They'll see if you know the acronyms or if you know at least as much as they do. And what, once you do, then they're going to listen to you. Um, but here's something that's pretty interesting. Let's just take a look at this quick example. Uh, here's why they don't want to talk to somebody that claims to be a retirement expert but doesn't know federal benefits. So look at our example here. Let's say we've got a federal employee and we're looking at the difference between a Roth IRA and a Roth TSP. Now, the general public can contribute to uh, a Roth IRA, put in $7,000, but feds can put in $23,000 into a Roth TSP. Plus, based on income level, they can also add to the Roth IRA. So think about this. If, they're, if they went to, and I'm just going to make this up, if they went to Edward Jones, and the Edward Jones advisor didn't know about this 23,000 and then told him, well, yeah, you can only put 7,000 into a Roth. What if they could afford to put more? And then they were limited to only the 7,000. A couple of years later, they found out they could have put in 15,000 a year instead of seven. Man, talk about missed opportunity. Big level of frustration. So Fed employees are not dumb. They know that their benefits are very different from the general public. That's why they, they are hesitant to go talk to a generalist, a general financial advisor. So if you're not trained in how to talk to these people and what the acronyms are, what the benefits are, you might get a few minutes where they sniff around, but then they go running the other way because they've all heard these stories. And they're looking for somebody that knows more than just general information. So what does this mean to you? Well, if you're a financial advisor and you understand what I'm talking about, right? If you can see the opportunity that I'm laying out in front of here, in front of you here, that means that if you get the training, you'll get all of the business. Okay? Because remember, about a hundred thousand people are retiring from the government each year. That's a lot of people 
it's a good stream. But remember, there are over a million active federal employees that aren't retiring. So doesn't it make sense to talk to those people as well? You know, I've talked to a lot of financial advisors like, well, I'm not going to talk to anybody unless they're 59 and a half. Oh, I mean, you got like a huge book of business where you're not taking on people that can help you make money. That's something you guys need to understand that's important about this is we talk to everybody. We'll do a consultation with people that are 35, 45, 55, 65. It doesn't matter because we can make money off of all of them. And doesn't it make sense to make somebody become a client earlier in life so that when they do have important financial decisions to make, they're not out shopping, but they're picking up the phone and calling you? Doesn't that make sense? So the more opportunities you have to talk to more federal employees and get to them sooner, that's a good thing for you. So let's talk about how you can make some cash on this. So there are 10 things you need to know. Obviously, I'm not gonna go through all 10. We don't have time to go through 10. I'm just gonna share with you the three most important ones. We're gonna talk briefly about FEGLI, which is Federal Employee Group Life Insurance. Second opportunity here, this one is huge, disability insurance. And then we're gonna talk about the retirement income or shortfall, uh, which is, starts with their pension, okay? So, Fegley. Feds lose 75% of their insurance at retirement. They have the option to keep it, but almost everybody selects the free option. If they select the free option, they lose 75% of their uh, basic life. And uh, I always tell people, look, you know, this is, you're not going to have enough money to put you in the ground. It's important to not beat around the bush, but to be direct with these federal employees because that's what they expect. They've always been told what to do and how to do it. And if you start being vague, you're going to lose them. Here's what happens. You're going to lose 75% and that's going to provide you with a shortfall and there's not going to be enough money there to put you in the ground or pay off any additional debts. Would you agree? Once you provide them with a good consultation, they'll say yes. So they can keep the coverage into uh, retirement, but it becomes very expensive and you can do better with them uh, getting market rates outside. Okay. The Fegley insurance is term insurance. It goes up in five-year blocks. Uh, federal employees are very open to permanent life insurance, very open to it. They don't like the fact that the costs go up every five years and they want to have something that builds cash value. So when you're talking to them and you lay out that term, what do you mean? Don't, isn't there any money built up into that after all these years I've been contributing? No, there's no money. <laughs> so when you present it to them, that's what they want. Okay. Um, you know, by the time they're ready to retire, if that's if that's when you're talking about Fegley, it's too late. You know, it's going to be really expensive by then. So again, this is why we want to talk to them a little bit earlier. All right. So because of the fact that Feds lose 75% of their Fegley, and after 50, the age rate uh, after age 50, the rates start to go up pretty dramatically. We have an opportunity to make a life insurance suggestion. Remember, I, I'm not gonna call it a sale. We're gonna make a suggestion because they're gonna make that decision themselves. We don't need to sell anything, okay? So the product that we use, eh, people kind of come back to this, so pay attention to this one. The product that we use is GPM. We use this for our life sales because the name is Government Personnel Mutual. They're an A-rated company and they pay quickly. So what's that mean? It means it's easy to sell because it's Government Personnel Mutual. It's designed by somebody who worked for the government, for people that work at the government. It's an easy story, A-rated, so that takes care of the client. They pay us quickly that takes care of us. That's why we use it. Okay, so let's take a look at how this thing works. So you can have your uh, life team at IMS run these for you, but you're gonna wanna learn how to run these illustrations yourselves because you can do this super quickly while you're talking to the client just up on your other screen. 
but I'm not going to teach you how to do a, an illustration today, but I just want to show you here's where the money is and here's how we structure these. Okay, so we do these all as standard non tobacco. We set it up so that we're solving for a premium. Okay, and we do it as an endowment. Now we do it as an endowment because we want to stuff as much money in this without turning it into a mech. Okay. It's not going to be a modified endowment contract. It's going to be an endowment, which means we're going right up to the mat. We're solving for premium. Now, the, the what we're looking for here, the sale, the secret sauce is, we're looking to work with $100 per pay. So we're not trying to position this for a certain death benefit. All we're asking for is allowing them, asking for them to allow us to work with $100 per pay. How easy is that, guys? A hundred bucks? Come on. So we're asking to work with $100 per pay. There's our mode bi-weekly. So these are the very basic parameters that we set up. We hit quick calculation, which is this button down here at the bottom. This is what it shows us. There's our modal premium. Again, it doesn't have to be $100 exactly. You know, I'm doing this super quick on the fly. And you know, you can adjust the face amount right here to get to that $100. So we want to get a modal premium of $100 bi-weekly. That'll show us there's the death benefit. But the important thing to us as agents is finding out what the target premium is. So based upon these parameters, and this was a 55-year-old male, our target premium was 2407. Okay, so pay attention. We're going to do some quick math. This is how you make your money. Let's do some quick math. So this is how my team gets paid. I don't know how you're going to get paid. You can work that out with your um, sales directors, but my team, this is how they get paid. There's our target premium, 2407, 80% payout. There's 1925. They get a 70% of that. So there's 13, let's call it 1350. All we ask is that you do two sales a week. Two sales a week, not 10, two. Okay, and that's only if you're average. So with our program, if you're just the an average person, not a superstar, you're gonna do two sales a week. Okay, that's 26.96 times, look at that, 45 weeks. There's 52 weeks in a, re in a year, correct? We do everything here based upon 45 weeks. It gives you seven weeks for being sick, vacation, whatever. So we're not shooting for pie in the sky here. Two sales a week, 45 weeks a year. There's $120,000. There's your six-figure income working this niche. And we're only at product number one. Okay? Two sales a week, $120,000 a year. It doesn't get much easier than that, guys. Okay. Now, next thing, disability insurance. Let's talk about this real quick. They have none. So how good of a salesperson do you have to be to sell disability insurance that has to somebody that has none? It's a pretty easy sale. Okay. So you're probably thinking, what? The government doesn't provide disability insurance. The answer is no. World's largest, uh, ins the world's largest employer does not provide disability insurance to its employees. None. They get sick leave, they get time off, and they're they're provided something called a FERS disability retirement. FERS disability retirement. That means they're they're retired, okay? So if you have somebody that becomes disabled at their age 45, do you think they're ready to be retired? Wouldn't it be better if they had some money coming in so that they could pay their bills and then go back to work to continue with their retirement savings so that they could have a successful retirement? That's what we're talking about. So if you can provide that to them, 
okay? And it doesn't, it's not hard to show them by doing a consultation and you can pull it up on their, you know, on their uh, opm.gov and show them and use their own resources against them, basically. They'll see that they have no disability insurance. You can provide it to them. It doesn't cost a ton. And it's simplified issue, which means it's gonna get it's gonna get issued. Okay. You're gonna be a hero to them, and guess what? You're gonna get referrals off of that. That's product number two. Okay. I'm not even gonna bother doing the math because all we had to look at was how to make six figures. We've already making six figures. This is just icing on the cake. Okay. Now let's talk about retirement. Okay. First, so they get a pension with by being a federal employee. So they have a pension and they have a de defined contribution plan. Their defined contribution plan is TSP. So as we're going through and doing this consultation, we have an automated assessment tool that we go through alongside our workbook and it shows them, you know, how they can afford to retire. And it shows them where all of the mistakes are made and the fact that they're gonna have three areas that they need to address. So let's stay focused on retirement here. So we're gonna provide them, number one, we already, we already targeted them on life insurance because of the Fegley shortfall. But what's the best way to save for retirement tax-free? Well, using the TSP Roth is great, but it doesn't make, always make sense to max that out, no. So using life insurance as a retirement tool is, is a great option and giving them provide or tax-free retirement. The other thing is they wanna make as much use of the TSP as they can, but what they don't understand is, is that's a great way to save for retirement, but the TSP is terrible providing retirement income options. So this creates prime rollover opportunities prime rollover opportunities guys okay so what's great about this is that when you're working with somebody with tsp they're ready to retire and you've put together a game plan for them you need to get on tsp.gov and you start the the process of doing a rollover what you then do is you call them up on the tsp up on the 800 number and you have them help you walk your client through the proper way to initiate a rollover. What's nice is that there's not somebody on the other end of the line trying to save the business. Oh, you don't, are you sure you wanna do that, Mrs. Smith? Are you sure? You know, you could do, there's none of that save the business stuff that we see with all the other corporate stuff. They actually help the clients take action and they're very helpful. What's nice about this is usually you get your money from TSP into your IRA plan within 10 business days. It doesn't get much easier to do rollovers. They will ask for your help to do the rollovers because you've done such a great job doing the consultation. All right, so we've identified a retirement income gap. We know that life insurance is gonna be a, a great opportunity. We're also gonna sell plenty of annuities doing this. So it's not all life insurance, although that's where we start, but you're gonna be able to do lots of annuity rollover business. So remember, there are 10 things that you need to know. We've covered three of them today, but once you know what those 10 things are, it's just time to go out and help clients and they will thank you for helping them and you'll get to make money along the way. It's a win-win. They need the help, they want the help, you can help them and you'll make money and they'll thank you for your time. So how to cash out on this? You need to get in touch with Matt, somebody like Matt at Imes, to set up and sign up for the training system, become a federal employee retirement expert. Average or leverage the portfolio of preset appointment options. There are several opportunities to use different programs to get preset appointments put on your calendars. Now, there's one special one that if you sign up for this program, you start providing or start rolling in business, you can use your marketing dollars to get free appointments. So you can be a trained expert 
We're going to teach you how to close. After you start closing, you get to use your marketing dollars to get appointments put back on your calendar. That's a pretty nice cycle. There's where the consistent part comes from, right? The sustainable part. Talked about that at the beginning. This is how that works. Okay. Use our proven sales system. We will teach you how to go through the process and that will drive more sales. First thing you need to do is go to federalbridge.com. You'll see how this all plays out. Okay. There's the website right there. Before you do anything, there are two videos that you need to watch. Go to the website, watch the videos. Okay. Click on the thing that says instructions. It will show you step by step how this process works. Okay. It's all there laid out for you. Go to the website. Then you start taking appointments. We work on a 642, six appointments that you are provided. Four will actually show. Two of them will turn into sales. There's a lot more information there. I'm going to, because of time, I'm going to say that that's how our process works. Okay. <clears throat> now, along with that, you need to learn a sales process. This is incumbent upon getting your success, but I can't stress enough. You need to do it exactly as we teach it. If you try to wing it, it's not going to work. Okay, I've seen people wing it and it just turns into a disaster. But if you do it exactly like we teach it, I say follow the recipe, you're going to thrive. And this thing's going to be awesome for you. Okay, The best thing is, is that you're going to be helping people that want your help. You're not going to use sales tactics on them. You're going to provide them with great information. You're going to do a consultation. They're going to thank you for your time. And personally, I don't like feeling dirty. I like being, you know, people saying thank you very much. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Dave. And I love getting paid for it. It's very gratifying doing it the right way. Okay. We're, here's some of the tools, you know. Our first appointment is all based upon trust-based selling. There are several questions there. We're gonna teach you how to do these questions. There's a roadmap that we share with people how our process works. We're gonna walk them through step-by-step step how working with us works. You need to show them this roadmap. Here's a questionnaire that we use in our second appointment. Starting off, this is how we start our second appointment, asking very basic questions so that we know that by the time we're able to wrap up that um, that consultation, we're going to ask them to take action. And here's how we close. This is our actual closing tool right here. There's where we write in $100 per pay and walk them through. This is going to end up in sales, guys, like clockwork. Been doing this. This program has been in place for years. It works like clockwork. You will take each client and walk them through a workbook. Okay, this is the consultation right here. There is a script that goes with it. You will be taught and you need to learn exactly what that script is. It tell it will teach you what to say, how to say it, when to say it. Each section will th transition nicely and this will pinpoint what those three problem areas are. By the time you're done, you will also be using software on your other screen. The software will provide them with a one-page printout of exactly what their benefits are, what their retirement estimates are, and at the bottom, which we don't have down here because we ran out of space, it'll share with them what their three problem areas are on a one-pager, one-pager. So you can very easily close off of that. So. Let's talk about who this is not for. It sounds great, but this is not gonna be for everybody, guys. Trust me, okay? If you're somebody <coughs> that feels, excuse me, that feels you need to reinvent the wheel and not follow a proven step-by-step -step process, in other words, you're not coachable, you gotta do it your way, this is not for you, okay? If the investment, because this is not free, if it, although it is reasonable, but if it's going to take food off your table or cause you not to sleep at night, 
this is not for you. Okay. And if you're not willing to invest in yourself and in your business, plain and simple, not for you guys. But if the rest of it all makes sense, then this is for you. So why do this? Wrap it up. Government is mandated, it's supposed to be done. It's not being done. We've reached out to unions and the agencies, they're not doing it. it number three, it's up to us. We need to make sure that as federal benefit experts, we can bring home the bacon and provide people with the solutions that they need. There are too many good agents out there that are struggling for a niche that will provide them their own retirement. This is a great opportunity for you to find something that works for you. It's gonna be a win for your client and it's gonna be a win for you. It's fantastic. So I'm gonna leave you with this video. It's as simple as E. Flora Bazuma, from many, one. From many shades of lipstick, one that belongs to her. From a basket of kisses, she picks one. It makes her unique. It colors her kiss. And her kiss, well, it colors her man. Belle Julie lipstick, mark your man. I only see one lipstick in your drawing. Women want colors. Lots and lots of colors. Mark your man. It's pretty cute. Oh, you like this? Well, maybe we should cut down to five shades or one. I'm not telling you to listen to anyone, but this is a very fresh approach. It's okay, Kevin. I don't think there's much else to do here, but call it a day. Gentlemen, thank you for your time. Is that all? You're a non-believer. Why should we waste time on Kabuki? I don't know what that means. It means that you've already tried your plan and you're number four. You've enlisted my expertise and you've rejected it to go on the way you've been going. I'm not interested in that. You can understand. I don't think your three months or however many thousands of dollars entitles you to refocus the core of our business. Listen, I'm not here to tell you about Jesus. You already know about Jesus. Either he lives in your heart or he doesn't. Every woman wants choices. But in the end, none wants to be one of a hundred in a box. She's unique. She makes the choices and she's chosen him. She wants to tell the world he's mine. He belongs to me, not you. She marks her man with her lips. He is her possession. You've given every girl that wears your lipstick the gift of total ownership. Yeah. No. So, don't be a non-believer. Why are you here today? Have you tried it your way and you're looking for something else? Thanks for your time. All right. Thank you so much, Dave. Um, we are up against the hour, and unfortunately, um, I do have another commitment. So there are a couple of questions. I will follow up with you guys individually, but thank you so much. Really appreciate it. And uh, please contact us at IMS, Matt Sabala at Matt S at IMSinc.com or call us at 800-255-5055. Thank you, guys. Take care and have a great day. Thanks, guys.